ituwing alas 6 ng gabi ng Lunes, no? Uh, dadalhing hayaan niyo pong dalhin ko kayo sa mundo ng mga arkitekto katulad ko sa mundo ng malikhaing paggawa. Welcome to Peaceabilities here in cbrc.tv. Arman Benko po ang inyong lingkod. Kailangan po natin kumita-kita muna ng additional na income. And wala naman pong income na dumadating ng wala kang ginagawa. Welcome to Legal Helpline Online kung saan sasagutin ng ating legal expert ang inyong mga katanungan na may kinalaman sa legalities. Lahat tayo regardless of our status, whether we are an employer or an employee, kailangan sundin natin ng mga health guidelines. Welcome to CBRC TV with Tuesdays with Corey. Welcome to the RJ Ledesma Podcast. I am RJ Ledesma. Magandang araw, Pilipinas. Magandang araw, online world. I am Jel Miranda, and you're watching Expert Talk Online. Good evening. My name is Rada Castro Caliwara. I'm Arman Gutierrez. And this is Pulse Connect. Buzz, Peace, and Beyond. Mabuhay sambayan ng Pilipino. Ang wika, kultura, at kasaysayan ay magintong sa gisag ng ating pagkapilipino. Ito po ang We Kasaysayan, programang tatalakay sa iba't ibang aral ng ating bayan. Good afternoon, Father Ben. Good afternoon, Tara. Magandang hapon sa lahat ng nakikinig. At sa ating mga televiewers na gustong matuto ng mga livelihood programs at sa mga entrepreneurship skills na isi-share ng ating mga guests today. We're gonna talk about our frontliners' nurse stories during the pandemic. We are going back to the glory days of nursing. In demand ng nurses ngayon, hindi lang sa Pilipinas, kundi all over the country. May mga tanong ka ba tungkol sa inyong pinag-aralan? Bibigyang linaw namin at aming ikaw ay tutulungan. Dahil assignment mo, sagot ko. This is Ready 101 and I'm your resilience partner. This is Martin Aguda Jr. Join us guys every Thursday night, 8pm. Mula sa Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. Welcome to CBRC.TV, Biyaheng Lokal. Ngayong gabi, marami tayong pag-uusapan. Interesting? Feel free to join us, message us, and we will try our best to answer your question. Hello, hello there! Magandang, magandang, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. This is Simply Becky Mon, ang programa po sa CBRC.TV kung saan uh, pag-uusapan natin ang mga kwentong buhay-buhay nyo. This is Jeff Chua, your host for Find Your Greatness. And we are so privileged to have Find Your Greatness, the Cycle House podcast show, to be part of the lineup of programs of CBRC. Alam po natin na itong talakayan na to ay napakaganda dahil ang real estate industry is isa sa mga industriya na napakagandang pagtuunan ng pansin. Sa ngalan ng Ama, na Anak, na Espiritu Santo. Amen. Diyaya na ating Panginoong Isa Kristo ang pag-ibig ng Diyos Ama at ang liwanan ng Espiritu Santo naway sumayin niyong lahat. At sumayin rin. Good day, Luzon Visayas Mindanao. Welcome to Anyone Can Cook with Chef Cherry and Sir Chef. Mabuhay po tayo mga Pilipino. Sa panahon po ng pandemya, kailangan po nating mag-unwind at maging masaya dahil tayo po ang gagawa ng ating ikaliligaya. Hi, good evening, good morning, and good afternoon, everybody. I'm Dr. Carl Balita, and welcome to Bridges. Ito po ang bagong program ng CBRC.TV. Siyempre po sa pakikipag-ugnayan at pakikipagtulungan hatid sa inyo ng UST Alumni Association. I'm so good. I feel so good. Magandang gabi, Carl. At magandang gabi rin sa ating mga viewers. Ito ang uh, bagong show ng CBRC.tv. Um, it's called Entertainment, Jamming, Kwentuhan, and Kantahan. Welcome to Bridges here at CBRC. 
Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all our viewers around the world. This is Evelyn Sonko, your host, and together with me is Claude Despobeladera. Claude, hello, hello, Claude. Hello again, Professor Evelyn Sonko. Thank you very much for having me for the second straight week. I'm happy to see you again. And hello, good evening, good morning, or good afternoon to our uh, viewers on Bridges here on cbrc.tv how are you claude ma'am i'm i'm good i was i've been looking forward to this episode i enjoyed last week and uh, i'm excited to be part of this again and uh since you know this is the uh, christmas time it is the time of the year when we're more mindful of you know family togetherness and it's not just because of the pandemic but really with or without the pandemic we're more mindful of family togetherness and traditions and all that. That's why uh, I like this episode and um, uh, I like talking about families, particularly this time. Yun pa. Yeah, I like that. I like that also. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, actually, Claude, kahit na excited tayo, before we introduce our guest tonight, uh, I'd like to thank the Atelier Alumni Association for sponsoring this show. Thank you very much, Ms. Marie Pe Yang. Thank you. Yes, Claude, you may introduce our guest. Yes, ma'am. Our guest for tonight is Ms. Maria Rovil Labrador Caingat. She graduated from the UST College of Education, took up law at San Sebastian College, took her postgraduate school in Asian Studies at EWHA Women's University in Seoul, South Korea, obtained her MA in Supervision Instruction from DLSU, DLSU Manila, and obtained units as well in Master of Public Governance from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Ms. Kaingat became Associate Graft and Corruption Investigation Officer of Ombudsman and Executive Assistant of the Office of the Chairman of the National Commission of the Culture and the Arts. She is now the School Head and Chief Administrator of the Integrator Jubilation Montessori School of Binyan, Laguna. So let's all put our hands together for Miss Rovil. Hi, Miss Rovil. Hi. She is coming in. Hi. Oh, it's so good to see you again. I'm so hi. Um, thank you for that, Claude. Thank you. Hi. Welcome. Uh, hi, ma'am. Can you hear It's a Hello. pleasure. And then here. Um, Magandang gabi, magandang uma, magandang hapon sa lahat ng ating uh, uh, tagapanood sa buong mundo. I've learned from you guys, from Mam um, Songko, that this is a, a worldwide show. Of course, it is in the net. So, and I not only the Tomashans are watching this, so magmuli, magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Magandang umaga, magandang hapon. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Rovil, for being able to come to join us today, no? And, um, you know, I'm really very interested. It's a very honor. You have a lot of uh, experiences already, you know? And uh, you graduated from, I, I heard it, no? You graduated from USD College of Education. You became a teacher. And then you left teaching. And then now you're back to education. You're back to teaching. I'm really interested yes, to know why yes. you engaged in education again. Oh, okay, Paul. Um, to begin with, I want to mention that I also graduated high school from the University of Santo Tomas. So, EHS fan po ako. Just a quick shout out lang po ng mga batchmates sa EHS. Um, your question is about why I am back in the world of education, mom, right? Because yeah. after uh, teaching my first degree, uh, I mean, utilizing my first degree as a teacher, and then I went to the world of uh, College of Law, and then using the law degree, I was able to work as an um, associate graft uh, investigation of graft and corruption investigation officer at the office of the ombudsman, uh, deputy ombudsman for Luzon. And then later on, I was pulled out from there by my mom, so I could uh, somebody thought that I could help her uh, during the time that she was 
uh, Department of Education Undersecretary, and at the same time, NCCA Commissioner or National Culture for Commission in the Arts, after which time that she retired, and then she was kind of uh, this, 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 this uh, passion of hers that has been uh, within her for more than four decades has, uh, what do you call this, blossomed into her um, act of entering into partnerships with fellow retirees, of fellow retired educators. That's why they were able to come up with a school, uh, a corporation of schools, and with which my mom and myself is a member of. And so uh, from there, I, I am now, uh, 10 years a school head as well as a chief administrator of uh, the school in Binyan. Uh, thank you for mentioning, Sir Claude. And we also have a school in Vite as well. Um, but to, in a nutshell, bakit, bakit ako bumalik sa mundo ng edukasyon, ma'am? Sapagkat ako ay isang guro. Yun lang, ang pinaka, that's the most important um, answer to that question because hindi lang si mama hindi lamang yung pamana na binigay niya sa akin bilang edu educator, kundi sa akin pong din puso, I'm educator. I'm an educator. But to begin um, formally, my, uh, what do you call this, uh, an, an extension of that answer to clarify things, okay, uh, it, it would be properly addressed, your question would be properly addressed by mentioning the word pamana. Because that is a topic of our show today, heritage, oh my God. Um, or simply point, uh, inherited property, which the passing of time has evolved into what we call heritage, both tangible or intangible. So in my case, um, the heritage from my mom are both, uh, I can, uh, what is uh, something that I cherish in, is not only the tangible, Pamana heritage, but most especially the intangible pamana or heritage from her uh, legacy, which are values related not only to family building, but most especially for the love for teaching and the love for continuous learning. So that would yeah. be those as a collective, a collective, uh, uh, a, a collection of all the values. That have um, received as pamana or heritage po. Yun po. Kaya yeah. yun po ang aking dahilan kung bakit ako nasa mundo na nawa ng edukasyon. So, kaya nga. Yes po. And um, continue, ma'am. Um, yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Parang ipinamana sa'yo ng oh, iyong gula, uh, just, ng iyong mother, yung iyong uh, pagtuturo. It's really passed yes, on from generation to generation oh, oh. parang naging tradisyon ninyo ang magpagtuturo yes. tapos from gen from her generation yes, and yes, the generation before her nag tumut nagtuturo kayong lahat okay tama so yun yun, yun talaga yung pamana yes ma'am yun heritage all right so yeah yun po. Po. kasi po si mama my mom is um sa mga siblings po niya siya lang yung teacher um mm -hmm. Sa akin din, in my case, we are three in the family. I mean, I have two other siblings or we are three, my brothers. Sa aming tatlo po, ako lang po yung guro. I'm the only teacher. So, this is probably the main reason why uh, here again in the world of education. And I cherish this heritage that I received from my mom. Uh, her being uh, four decades, uh, yung dedication niya po sa pagtuturo at sa administrasyon ng edukasyon ng bayang ito. Yan, hanggang sa siya uh, so that's basically it. And I, may I, I also add, ma'am, that um, going back to another, to, to your question again, the family heritage in our case, in our story, is, uh, I just want to point out that my, uh, it is the, my mother's strong influence to me as an educator. Um, it is not merely verbal, you know, yung hindi lang yung basta sinasabi, which all parents do, right? All parents say a valuable things to children but gusto ko lang po emphasize that my mother and i has a, a tradition uniquely sa aming dalawa which we value most which is not to take things for granted 
uh, and keep it recorded strictly in, you know, kailangan naka, nakasulat. At hindi lang yun, hindi lang verbally sinasabi, kailangan ginagawa. So kung ano man yung heritage na natatanggap namin, we don't only hear it verbally, but we see it by example. And she has shown all her life, is her very, the very essence of her is uh, her yung, yung examples that he that she has lived and shown sa aming mga anak niya. Hindi lang po sa amin, sa, sa mga anak niya po, sa FED, mga guru, mga principal, at lahat po ng kasamahan niya sa part sa kagawaran. Yung kanya pong... Uh, uh, hindi lang mere, you know, ver- vocalization of values, but pag- pagsasabuhay. Pagsasabuhay and showing by example. Kung yun yung para sa akin, yung intangible, yung, yung mas significant na intangible heritage that can be passed on to children. Yeah. Yeah. Claude, you want to say something? Um, go ahead, man. Yes. Um, yeah, it's tama, Ms. Roville. It's one thing to hear it, from a family member telling it trying to impart yes. to you a value yes. or a lesson but it's stronger when the re, when it's a stronger reinforcement oh. when you see it you know your parents when it walk shows the talk, they walk the talk yeah. right yeah, yeah so that's right that's uh, right yeah, yeah so exactly. um, having have now ma'am you have More your own family. you have your own family now so what do you think are the values that bind families yes. Oh, okay. Um, to answer that again, I would have to quote, you know, I do not have to go far because my idol, the, the one I look up to my whole life is my mother. So, dalawa yung pinaka-importanting values na iniwan niya sa akin, sa amin. And these are two things that I would like to share with everybody. Okay, first off, the fact that, remember, Ninoy Aquino, the great Ninoy Aquino left us with Every Filipino should uh, is worth dying for, right? Yes. We all know that. Everybody, every Filipino should know that, or we, we know that. But my mother twisted that and she turned it into something like this. This is her mantra: Every Filipino child is worth living for. Oh. That's her. That's her. I heard that from her, and that's yes. Instead of dying, you know, she she twisted it and she turned it into something positive, and she said. That's uh, that's what she has been uh, telling everybody, especially us, her children, and or all her children in the education world, that every Filipino is worth living for. So that's the first. And Sir Claude, the second is trying to remember. Oh, okay. My mother is uh, came from a family of orphans. I did not dwell into that anymore because we only have one hour. You know, sabi ko nga, ma'am, kay Sir Claude when we were talking casually last night or the other night during operations, I was telling him, ma'am, yung buhay ng aking ina ay pang MMK. So, <laughs> the lengthy uh, history. Yan, lalo na kasi I'm a history major. So, I, 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 I do not want to specify on those, but to tackle on uh, that particular um, question that you gave me, Sir Claude, the values that have been uh, strengthening us. So I mentioned the first one, and then the second one is the fact that okay, the fact that she's she came from a poor family. For her, poverty is never an obstacle. Poverty is never a hindrance into to achieve rather to achieving one's goals in life. Yun ang lagi niya sa Hindi dahilan ang kahirapan para makamtan mo ang iyong na is makamtan sa buhay, yung goal mo. So, yun ang lagi niyang sinasabi, yung dalawang yun. Every Filipino child is worth living for and that however an obstacle or hindrance because she came from a very poor family and she's away, masasabi naman po na napakarami niya pong uh, nakamtan, hindi lang pong uh, tangibly or physical na bagay, kundi marami po siyang uh, na ipamana, hindi lang sa aming pamilya, kundi actually sa uh, sa edukasyon, sa kagawaran, na ako ay, I'm proud to say kahit pa paano. Yun. So that, did that answer your question, Sir Claude? Yes. Did, that, did, that, did I answer your question? 
Yes, it did. And maganda po na na-mention ninyo. You, you mentioned it uh, in passing, but you when we did talk, you mentioned to me the very humble beginnings of your mom and her siblings. And she is a living example of, you know, uh, r- r- uh, rising through the books and not allowing your uh, poverty or your uh, difficult circumstances to limit you in life. So maganda po na na-share ninyo sa amin yan ngayong gabi. And for sure po, with Knowing her story and the story of her siblings, um, I'm sure you that inspired you into the person that you are, the also commendable and impressive with your achievements and all. So uh, it's great that those values and uh, traditions have been passed on to you and your siblings, po, no, ma'am? Yes, yes, po, I believe so, yes. <laughs> At, um, well, um, if, uh, if, the, it, it's you know establishment is one thing sustaining is another so i, I may i share naman po the values of sus- how how we sustain yeah. iba po kasi iba po sa pa yung pagbuild yung pagestablish how we sustain it whatever it is it doesn't have to be applied to entrepreneurship or only to the world of education actually sa buong iba ibang industriya lahat na na naiinkwentro natin na iwing natin. So, another set of values for sustaining whatever it is that holds whether a business or a family is uh, sa amin po sa amin pong um, ito bilang um, ako, bilang ako lang. <laughs> uh, sa amin po the key is consistency in how how we sustain it. Consistency. You know, Whatever formula that has worked. Parang sa lutuin, di ba? Last time, your show was about cooking. It's just like, yes. you know, the simple, the secret ingredients. Yes, yeah, sa baking, sa cooking. More than the secret ingredients of stuff, you know, whatever it is. Is, mas importante rin yung patuloy yun, to be consistent, kasi kung paiba-iba yung pamamaraan. Hindi natin ma-achieve yung whatever it is that we need to achieve or we want to see. Okay, lalo na sa, okay, sa first generation ng builders ng isang industriya. Okay, and then sa pangalawa, yung nagbigay ng pamana. So, um, our va- so, uh, tumaga values, sustenance value ba, matataw, or the value of how, how it is sustained is consistency lang po. Tuloy-tuloy lang po. And kung ano yung mainam na, na natutunan, gawin lang on a consistent, habit-forming consistency. Passing it on to our next slide with much passion ever before. Habit forming consistency. Yeah. Yeah. Evelyn? Is it, uh, yeah. Family tradition. Yeah. So, Roville? Yes. Uh, are you saying that there are, uh, uh, that there are, say, for example, uh, trends or, mm-hmm. um, I values that have been identified mm-hmm. as values that really uh, bring together families, no? Uh, whether it is your mm-hmm. family or family. Yes, and yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, there are sets of values which are passed on from generation to generation consistently, no? Like say, for example, uh, trusting, supporting. Yes, ma'am. Ba yon? Talagang yes. Merong mga sets of values. Yes. Yes. Uh-oh. Yeah. Would you um, like to share um, with so, us? Because uh, when you, when you were inviting... Come again? Come again, ma'am? You were saying something yeah. about... Are there are you were asking me about... Uh, the sets of values which can be... which are passed on from one generation to another generation uh, among the members of the family? Uh, yes. As you said, they're consistently yes. followed by the different generations. Like, siguro, no? Respect for the elders consistently on, napapass on from yes. one generation to another. And we are able to observe that. I yes, think ma'am. that's very common about the Filipino that's family. That's true. Tama ba? Uh, am yes. I correct? Yes, um, ma'am. Robin? And, um, yes, um, um, I have like to add specific generalized lang yung aking uh, pag uh, relay. This one I would like now to mention the specified. I, mean, I, I would like to share four specific values that bind 
bind us as a family. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm, uh, these are the things that I learned not only from my mother, but from my aunt, our nanay nena. Okay, pero the first three, three of the four are from my mother, and the fourth one is from nanay nena. Si nanay nena po kasi yung panganay nila, na, di ba orphan sila. Um, she's yan, she's the the bastion, the, the, the post siyang haligi na kanilang magkakapatid na mga orphans. Kaya sila nabuhay ng maayos at nakapagtapos ng pag-aaral. First is courtesy. Yan. Oh, In- inano yeah. ko lang, a CCIK. Courtesy, second, courage, I, independence, and K is keeping the faith. Okay. Courtesy and basic ways save you. Yan, lagi nilang sinasabi sa amin. Courtesy. Good manners and right kind of kindness always kind in the part, just like the, the song of Jewel. And kindness really, kindness matters. You know, that's the first. Kahit sa ang bagay, you know, uh, but, okay, going, before I go to the second value, it doesn't mean sinasabi ni Mama, hindi ibig sabihin na polite ka, courteous ka, eh mahina ka na. It doesn't mean that if you are polite, you are weak. That it is not polite. Being polite and GMRC is not synonymous to weakness, you know, and meekness. It's not. So the second value niya, I encourage and resolve and strength of character. And to the point being offensive po. Yun. Kasi you can show strength in character. Yun, lagi sina, inaano ni mama. Strength of character is can be shown without offending anybody. So, no, it's a balance. It's a good balance of GMRC, of politeness, and, you know, strength of in character, which we, which I pass on to the schools that we handle. Always, yan. So, that's the second. And the, thir- the third, ito combined sila, si nanay nena, at saka si mama ko, lagi na, about independence. This is the third, independence. Okay. Lagi na lang sinasabi when we were little. Nung malilate kami at malapit na maghapunan na, at makikita nila kami sa next sometimes, you know, uh, a kid, like me, a kid of six or my years old. Sometimes our cousins are so loving that they invite us to eat with them sa dinner table nila. Yung ganun. Ayaw na ang nanay nena at saka ni mama. Maliit. Yeah pa lang kami sinasabi na lang na huwag na huwag kayong mangi-istorbo, huwag na huwag kayong mahihingi. Ayaw na ayaw nila yon So, what what they're trying to tell us is the independence and, you know, uh, not not never to, you know, not never to depend on anybody else unless exhausted all our resources, you know, um, all man, all, or all remedies, exhausted of all remedies muna bago humingi ng tulong sa <laughs> very independent kasi si nanay at saka ni mama yun. yeah and, and the fourth po uh, is keeping the faith yeah. of god oh yes yes i think keeping the faith Ravel, no yes ma'am. They really bind families together tama keeping the faith yes. praying yes. together will always yes. bring families yes, together. Yes. Praying together, yes. working together. Yeah. Very you true, know, there are some, there are some, the some families. That. Yeah. There are some families yes. that really work together uh, in a corporation, in uh, coming up with their business, for example. And yes. You know, I, I know of a uh, an enterprise, no, who, which is 100 years old now. This 2020, uh, that's, I think, Corona. That yung, alam mo ba yung notebook? That's true. Na napakaganda. Oo. Yung notebook na yan na Corona na kung saan tayo nag-note. Yes, ako, yes, ma'am. I use that. I use that. So, nung 1990 pa yan. Tapos yes. pass on from one generation yes. to generation. So, I think working yes. together... Praying together, yes. sharing the same. One hundred years, one hundred years. Sharing the same belief. Oh, oh. Tama yun ano? Yan ang tawag ba yan? Uh, Robin Heritage. Oh, oh. Yeah, I learned about yes. it. Mm-mm. And I think oh. those people who are in yes, a, in a family enterprise, they probably really share with one another certain values. Yes. Like trust, like 
confidence, yes, support with one That's another, true. cooperation. Do you believe, Claude, that that is? Do you agree with me, Claude? Ma'am, I'm glad to hear that because I remember some years back, uh, an acquaintance of mine, you know, uh, much older than me, she, she has a family and she said explicitly, do not involve family members in a business venture because that will result in the family members taking each other for granted or taking advantage of each other. But in the case of Corona, that is that that, that, does, that does not apply to them because ayun pala ma'am, kayo rin pala gamit niyo Corona dati pa. They didn't know na Corona, corona has been around for that long. So it just means na it's been handled very well as a, as a family corporation or business because it, it, it continues to be around. So yung narinig kong yun, maybe it doesn't apply to all family-owned businesses. Maka depende-depende. And Corona is an example of a family business na nagsa-thrive, nagsa-succeed. Ay, ang alam ko, ang alam ko, third generation na yan, ang nag-a-handle na yan. Yes. Well, anyway, at the yes, point, I, I, na tayo yes. sa oras. So, kulang, kulang na tayo sa oras. Roville, would you like to give us uh, uh, your message to the viewers? Oh, okay. Well, um, in relation to Corona, first of all, I want to congratulate... No, no, no. Uh, in relation I heard to the family my... heritage, yes? Would you like to give yes, us uh, your yes. uh, message yes. to our viewers uh, in connection to final... with family heritage? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, well, um, in, in relation to, you know, family heritage and establishing whatever it is, whether it's uh, an entrepreneur an enterprise a family enterprise or simply you know family building and you know passing on to the next generation the values that they hold dear that would help the next generation okay for me there are there are i just would like to to distinguish the three kinds of generation well according to management theory generation on the build is the builder, you know, the pioneering. Don, walang walang problema don, kasi the first generation builds the business. Okay, the second generation enhances, enhances, uh, modifies, make it better. Always yan. Start, ano, it's it's a foolproof naganon. That's the case. But second generation, ma'am and sir. Nakakatalo sa third generation, yung mga apo na, the level, kasi I'm thinking then not only of Corona, but all other family, um, not only a business, but an endeavor, okay, or advocacies. Kasi yung third, usually sinasabi, according to management theory, it breaks the business kapag hindi, kapag wala nung sincerity, transparency, cooperation, and all other values. But it is so admirable to find a business like Corona and all other, hindi lang naman sila, marami, marami tayong... Uh, mga Filipino families na gano'n na nakakahanga-hanga po. I am so impressed with um, a family um, heritage business like Corona. I think the business has, you know, had uh, or preserved the integrity and even um, has, a, has helped it rise into a, a higher level of, you know, um, not only grandeur, but success, success, basically. Thank you. Know, you. Kaya, Thank I just want so to much, uh, express that din po na, um, a, a family heritage transcends na into a Filipino legacy. Yes, yes. ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, Robin. Go ahead, ma'am. Uh, Go ahead. Yes. So, yun uh, lang po. Dapat uh, lang po uh, na uh, may share. Yes, uh, maraming salamat, Ravel. Claude, would you like yeah, to... Yeah, we thank uh, you very much, Ms. Ravel, for being with us tonight. Yeah, and yeah, so we'd also we'd like to thank the College of Education. No. And, and of course, you are... And of course, the yeah. uh, College of Education Alumni Foundation and the Corona Supplies Incorporated, and ma'am? Uh, and of course, I'd like to thank, of course, the Atelier Alumni Association. And bago tayo mag-end, ha, gusto kong um, batiin si Dean Pilar Romero ng College of Education uh, of the University of Santo Tomas. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Happy uh, birthday! 
many, many more wonderful years, Dean Pilar. Maraming salamat. And of course, uh, gusto ko rin bati, uh, gusto ko rin batiin yung mga nakikinig sa atin, lalo na si Marilyn Cano. Uh, maraming salamat, Marilyn, sa pakikinig, si Ida. Uh, maraming salamat. And of course, I'd like to uh, invite everyone to join us in our next episode. And our topic is when a child is born. Uh, maram, ang ating bit, kilalang kilala, ang ating guest speaker, si Dr. Minerva Kalimag, ay napakagaling na doktor. Claude? Uh, that's for next week. At this point, we would like yes. to thank everybody for joining us this evening. We'd like to remind you that here on Bridges, we do not build walls. We build connections of learning. We build knowledge. And definitely here at CBRC, we build bridges of faith, bridges of hope, and bridges of love. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat, those of you who, who joined us this evening. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the evening. Goodbye.